Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Buddy Blackford and today we're going to go over working on the color panel. And the color panel is just this panel up here in the top right color. If you don't have it, just go to window and go to color and I'll just turn it back on so I just turned it off. Hotkey is F6 and um, the color panel probably will have RGB here. So I'll put it back on there real quick and you'll probably have something that looks a little like this. So the color panel is um, used to pretty much uh, pick your different colors depending on what type of um, color profile you're working with such as RGB, grayscale, CMYK and um, it, it gives you like a great way to manage your colors as well. Um, using swatches and things like that and these are swatches which are just little um, preset colors that you can pick from and save and everything like that we're just gonna stick with the actual color panel and not the swatches panel this time and I'll go over a few things with you from there so I just wanted to uh, show you the color options real quick we've got first our grayscale slider and um, this allows you to um, pick from black to white from 0 to 100 percent so this is 100 percent black is all the way to the right and 0 is white so um, I'll just put it on 65 I don't know what is there that's what it was on before I don't know how I got 67 there we go 65 and then the next one we have is RGB sliders and these are your main regular sliders um, that you'll be mostly using and as you move these around you can create different colors here when when this pops up it means it's not a uh, web safe color but um, keep it in the area here and you can create a whole bunch of different colors so let's just check out the other ones we got HSB sliders and this is hue saturation and brightness and these all have um, up to 255 for our value and it looks like we're on percent here so it's gonna be 0 to 100 percent for these so the hue has 0 to 360 as you can see and it goes by degrees and these other two go by percent so let's go to the nice one CMYK and um, these are also on percent so 0 to 100 percent here and uh, this is cyan magenta yellow and black K stands for black so let's go to lab sliders you get L a and B and the L so yeah these are called lab um, this is one of the other color profiles that you can uh, use so if you like go to your modes here you can use lab color and if you're using that then you want to use the lab color swat or lab color sliders here so then you got your main color here you can do the uh, amount of gray scale in the color and then here's how you do change your colors here using these sliders so that's pretty sweet we've got our web color sliders and they give you a hexadecimal values so if you're a coder you'll know what the um, color is that you're picking out and if I move these they go to like their different values here and then these are web colors so you can uh, um, you adjust the amount of color and different types here using clicking on this uh, little spectrum line here the next section that I want to show you guys is the uh, spectrums and let's come over here and we can come down here to the RGB spectrum CMYK all these we'll start with the RGB spectrum when you click on that it converts this lower part here to the uh, spectrum that you chose so when I clicked on RGB it converted the lower portion of the color panel here to the RGB spectrum and clicking anywhere in it will change up the uh, active color that you can use and when you are changing up these colors you can see the color as well over here and this is the color that you're going to be used when you're doing something such as painting or something like that now let's uh, go and check out these other ones we got CMYK and it just changed it you can barely notice it when it changes but um, it does change the uh, colors We've got grayscale, and then you can definitely see what's going on there. And then, oh, my bad, clicked on the wrong thing. 
and then we've got current colors which is going to go uh, from the the hue and saturation of your uh, orange here so as you can see there but when I clicked on it it changed it to the white because I went way too far so if I go back and just change it to some other color it's gonna when you click on it it's gonna change your color swatch to that and then it's gonna go based on the color that you just clicked so I click that now it's based on that if I click over here on white as you can see I click on white and it goes to more like of, of the shades of the whitish pink that I got there now if you're working on something that's only for a, like a website or something like that and you need to uh, have web safe colors you can restrict this so that you can only have web safe colors here so if you click on make ramp web safe it's only going to show you the web safe colors and that way you know that you're not going to screw up when you um, and have like colors that aren't available on the web if you want to be able to um, change your colors a little bit easier I would recommend um, double clicking on the color box here and then you can use the Adobe color picker to uh, pick your color so you got the slider here which I'm sure everybody knows about doing this um, but this is how you pick your colors you can enter in your values here um, lab values RGB hue saturation brightness or the CMYK and also here's your hexadecimal value here I'll change that around and you can see all these are changing and the hexadecimal value is changing as well so click here to change it to only web color so you can see how different it is so the Adobe color picker and RGB and the uh, CMYK have more than just uh, than the web save colors here so that's it for this tutorial and um, thanks for thanks for watching this one I just went over all the the ways to use your uh, color panel here and it's good to know some of the uh, basics about using it so that you know uh, how to use in case in case you weren't uh, aware of the different options and everything like that so uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial have a good one